Okay guys, for this video I'm going to do a little impromptu video here because I got a good opportunity to show you some. So, I'm hoping you guys can hear this. Um, if you've gone through Bitterback Isle, you've encountered the enemy depth and you can actually hear his bell tolling well signal in the, in the background here. Match a beacon fire's light. Um, this is actually a really good place to farm death in the beginning. Your first run through death will always be here. In your second playthrough, he'll be here as long as um I know he spawns if the Cyclops are there, but he does not in this room that I'm in right now, but he does not spawn if the Lich and the it's Wraiths or Spectres, I can't remember which one it is, um, are in this room. So you'll hear his bell tolling that's his signifying that he's there. There's actually an exploit you can do that I'm gonna try and show you. Hopefully it goes off at a hitch. Um, I might have to try multiple times to get it, but I'll edit the video so that it only shows me doing it when it works. But you can actually, so the trick to death is, first of all, some things to know about him is he, he shows up randomly, he's one of the carrying enemies, and he has only two attacks. His first attack is to put people to sleep, it's uh, signified by his lantern going blue, uh, purple. When that happens, if you don't have enemy, if you don't have pawns of good sleep resistance, or you don't have good sleep resistance, it's going to put you to sleep. And while it might not seem like a very bad thing, the problem is his second attack. His second attack is when his lantern glows yellow and he throws it in the air, grabs a scythe, and swipes it. It is an instant kill. It will kill you, your pawns, everything, even enemies, in one kill. Um, any enemies to kill, you don't get experience for though, so it's not really useful for that. Unless the enemy is being a real pain. But he will kill anything of the scythe. Now the problem with this is. This is why I, death is such an annoyance. If he kills your pawns. You can't bring them back. Um, I've lost several pawns to him before. Um, luckily this playthrough. I've only lost pawns to him once. Um, just because I know this. And normally if it happens. I try and backtrack. Because I don't like giving that three star review. And having a pawn die on me. They don't get any items. They get a bad mediocre review and i don't like that um so i try and avoid that with all haste now death himself only shows up um for the period and then when you do enough damage to him he leaves he's meant to be fought over multiple times what i'm going to show you here though is there's an exploit with magic archer is what this works best with um actually this is the only one it works with that i know of magic archer can exploit you need ricochet hunter and magic rebalancer those are two skills you need um, they're necessary for this exploit I'm going to try and do. Now, the trick with this exploit is death leaves after you do a certain amount of damage, like I said. But he won't leave if he doesn't know you're there. So if you can do damage to him without him finding you, he won't leave. So what I'm going to show you here, um, another thing is way? death is attracted to lanterns. So once I get so far down, I'm actually going to be kicking my lantern off. Now, let's see if I can get this set up right here. Now's a good time to kick it off because he's actually in these tunnels. Your first playthrough of this, he will always be down here. Subsequent playthroughs, he will only show up. Um, if, like I said, after you've killed a bunch of enemies. Luckily for me, I've already ran through here once. So what you want to do is you want to go in here. You want to pop some magic rebalancers. This can stack up to four times. Essentially, after four stacks, it basically doubles your magic. Now, hopefully I get this on the first try, because sometimes it gets weird, but I'm going to actually save here just in case. Um, if it doesn't work on the first try, or if it does, as long as it shows you what I want it to, I won't worry about it. But then the thing is, drop down here and start firing ricochet arrows. Okay, depth's right nearby, so this might backfire, but we'll see. Okay, no, it's working great. See, look at this. So depth has not seen me, and I'm just wrecking his shit. Um, basically, I put him in like a stun lock position, and it's Let's see if I can actually get him down before he can do anything. Yeah, so you can see his health bar dropping. I'm actually going to take advantage of this though. And use one of these. He should be dead actually after this one or two more shots of arrows. Okay, cool. That was that was great. First try, and I made level 200. So that is an exploit, guys. You can do if you are a magic archer. Um, if you're a solid magic build, like a sorcerer or mage, you can even come in here and do this as long as you take some levels into magic archer. It is a great farming method for him. Um, his death is a pain, in pain enemy to try and farm because of the fact that 
he shows up and he leaves um, after you do a certain amount of damage. But like you saw, he didn't leave. Normally he leaves after like one or two bars of damage, but because he never saw me, um, now the ways you'll know that he the sees you is if you have pawns of you, they'll say the Reaper comes, um, stuff like that, and they'll, they'll alert that he's seen you. Also, his um, lantern will shine right at you. It'll he'll glow a little bit brighter, and the music will change. As long as those bells are tolling, that means he's looking, but he hasn't found you. So, for anyone that wants to try and use that exploit, it's actually very nice to use. Um, that's how I got my trophy for killing death the first time. Um, the sh better, stronger magic you build you have, the easier it's going to be. Unfortunately, for physical classes, you're going to have to farm them the old-fashioned way. Um, if you want to farm him, though, this is still a good place to do it because, like I said, before you beat Damon the first time, he always shows up here. He's always down here, and the first before you fight Damon the first time, he's the only enemy down here. It's a great place to farm him, but be a little bit careful. Like I said, he can wipe an entire group of pawns. It's real inconvenient. Um, but I hope you guys like this. I figured I'd give a little bit of info on death and share that little exploit since I had a good opportunity to do it. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and like or give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, check out some of my other videos if you're looking for more tips. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good one.